Hello, my name is Alter, and welcome back to another throwback reaction for you. I know I haven't been doing um, throwback reactions, uh, and uh, all will be explained. I will be preparing to do another vlog for you guys, uh, this time in a more serious manner. Uh, well, you know, the accident thing was more of a me personally doing vlog for you guys. Uh, but what I want to do more with my vlogs is I want to be able to update you guys and you know move on from there and also do a little bit of fluff here and there in my vlogs um, okay so uh, we are back on season 2 of Avatar The Last Airbender and uh, again from the Avatar Amino I've decided to choose uh, Zuko alone and this is actually a pretty interesting one so I will be uh, talking more about it at the end uh, so yeah without further ado let's go Earth Fire Air Long ago the four nations lived together in harmony but then, everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked. Only the Avatar, the master of all four elements, could stop them. But when the world needed him the most, he vanished. A hundred years have passed and my brother and I have discovered a new Avatar, an airbender named Aang. And although his airbending skills is great, he has a lot to learn before he's ready to save anyone. But I believe Aang can save the world. I really enjoy some of their fillers like I think I will be choosing my personal one as well um, which is technically the tales of basking say I'm just gonna tell you now uh, so yeah that, that that was really good and this one as well that's lucky to be born yeah that's harsh Yeah, it has, bro. Yeah, and I relate to Zuko a lot because you know I'm a guy and I kind of know what he's going through because I have a sister too. So it's just that sibling rivalry kind of thing. It isn't directly like Zuko, but it is almost note for note. Poor um, ostrich horse. Poor ostrich horse. Sorry. Oh yeah, these are the couple. Uh, those are the couple from. Um, those those people are the couple from the Marshall Trail. I remember that. Yeah, water is the most important. If you don't have food, just drink water, it's okay. Like, I don't think I could ever try fasting, because, like, no water for me is really a no-no. Because, -no. like, our body is 75% water, so... But I do, I do, uh, like, I do respect people who do, like, who fast. Especially, like, the Muslim um, people who just about are finishing their fasting month. Because tomorrow is uh, Eid. Yeah, that was a um, strange look. Maybe. Thanks for not writing. 
I think that is the best decision he could have ever made though. You are hungry too, so you know. Like, the one thing I really appreciate about the Avatar world is all the weird creatures. Like the mutation. Like pigeon chicken and uh, ostrich horse and everything. Lee, give it a rest. <laughs> oh. <coughs> That's true. What a worrisome past it was. I love the flashback though. That was really cool. And the thing about Avatar fillers is that um, you know it it gives us backstory. So <laughs> I like how the turtle dog because it's just like what 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 what. Yeah, mothers, especially in the animal kingdom, uh, mother uh, animals are very protective. And this is the first indicator that uh, me liked um, Zuko from uh, from a young age. He got wet.
What a bitch. That's what I was bitch from the start, man. <laughs> Kids, man. Yep. Good, bro. Pretty good. And I really like the moonlight. So good. Well, in my opinion, the food, like the upcoming fight, can be doing like hand-to-hand -hand combat without using uh, fire bending. I love that transition actually. The other one. Oh. your kid <laughs> And this is so true too, but like uh, siblings always competing against each other and uh, you know, it's, it's all about sibling rivalry. I think in this, in this family it's more dysfunctional. 
but it also has some merit to some Asian families, I have to say. Sometimes it's hard to gauge Azula's um, like dialogue because sometimes she's lying, sometimes she's telling the truth. You could have just fought them, man. I wish I wish you didn't fire ban. Yeah, see, he could have done that, like, there was no point for him to fire ban, if I remember correctly. Hmm. 
that's true. Oh yeah, he was being like he was being forced with bending, so he he. I just wish that he didn't though, like so that. But life isn't all about uh, kind endings, I guess. Good, wonderful endings, good times. And everybody bows, yep. Yeah, that was uh, that was it. And uh, you know, all throughout this episode, there is a lot of subtlety about the the context of the war and how people uh, uh, don't really know how to differentiate between good firebenders and bad firebenders, and that's all because of the war. And that's uh, that that makes sense and everything. I I've talked about that in Jet as well. Uh, but yeah, this one is more about uh, Prince Zuko, and it's hard not to be biased against Zuko because he is the prince of the Fire Nation so that is playing very much into that case where yeah you you are you know the the, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree that that is the, the mindset going into this one and you know I find it so like 
so good that the the storyline is like this and you know uh there is a, a story like this in Korra as well but i definitely think in Korra was just like more of uh a more like reflection for Korra meanwhile in Zuko it's more of him thinking about the good times of that he's had and thinking about his mom's advice and also him trying to find a place in the world uh, that he's living in uh, so yeah guys uh, that was about it uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope to see you again soon so I will see you in the next episode see you then